Hey, thanks everybody. Welcome back to Odd Jobs 2. Um, my quest to fix and beautify my house. I have a old, old wood fence. As you can see, it's falling apart and I'm sick of fixing it. So I'm actually just going to, in front of this fence, put in an aesthetic block fence. Non-structural. It's just there to hide this one. I've done a few test blocks here just to see how it would work um, so I want to clean up this area and uh, then start laying brick or block uh, as you see here I have 8 by 8 by 16 blocks uh, the reason I chose them is because basically um, well essentially they have a wide footprint so they're not going to wiggle back and forth uh, they can rest square and uh, they're pretty stable and I'm going to do this without any uh, mortar I'm going to do this with Gorilla Glue uh, I've had these out here in the rain the heat uh, in the summer and uh, basically I have a layer of brick after layer of brick and uh, uh, Basically, I'm bullet building up and putting Gorilla Glue between each layer, and uh, you know, gravity keeps the brick down, and the Gorilla Glue bonds the layers together, and we go from there. So, anyway, I'm going to take out all my stuff here and my my demo bricks, and and start a layer of uh, entire new bricks or blocks. Excuse me. Okay, now I have my area prepped so I'm going to start laying down bricks excuse me blocks okay here's the first challenge I found I have the little short square blocks for the end but this is a little bit longer also this block is a little bit shorter and here we have the same problem where the block needs to go further that way to meet up with the other side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically take the fence and pull it this way a little bit further away from the wall on this side and this side so it comes this way a little bit and goes that way a little bit okay I got my first layer on I'm not leaving this big brick here I'm just using that to get the proportions right in relation to the end of the fence for my little square block so I got this all laid down I'm going to have to change the pitch of the fence slightly because you can see over here it's starting to bind up against the end. So I'm going to make another adjustment and I'm going to slightly pitch the fence a little bit that way. So this line here is going to come eat little and that line is going to go eat little. So going to shift it all just a little bit so I'm not hugging the fence too much okay so this is the last row actually I'm going to flip those two bricks but or this is the first row I got laid out completely goes all the way to the end and here in a second I'll start putting down some Gorilla Glue. I'll wet it. I'll let it set up for 10 minutes and then I'll put another layer of brick on. Do I have some issues here? Yeah, a little bit because I have two different cement surfaces here. So not everything's totally level. But I'm going to put a stucco coat on this when I'm all done. So it'll all even out. And if I really care, what I'll do is I'll just grind that down a little bit with my Makita grinder. So it's flat as opposed to having a little ridge so anyway next stage is glue
Okay. Now I gotta let the glue sit up for 10 minutes and foam up. Okay, glue starting to foam up. Sun's about to go down. So, I'm gonna start putting the bricks on.
Okay, so that's layer number two, and we'll check on it tomorrow. Okay, we're back. This is a little bit over 12 hours later. <coughs> I'd uh, <coughs> finished putting on the second row uh, about 6 o'clock yesterday evening, and now it's about 8 o'clock the following morning. Looking at these things, it's... Uh, very rigid. I shook them all all over the place and it's very rigid. Okay, we're at day number three. I went ahead and uh, did put a little bit more glue between the joints there. So that looks all good. And I'm going to go ahead and do another row. Uh, my foundation is not perfectly level. I knew that. I didn't really care. I'd adjust it as we're going. So today, before I go ahead and start stacking blocks, I'm going to go ahead and smooth out some of the uh, the lips between the bricks. There's not a lot. There's one or two. And uh, I have my favorite tool, Makita 4-inch grinder, with a, a masonry, uh, masonry grinding wheel. And I'm just going to grab that smooth a little bit and start laying another row of blocks. Okay, still day three. I went ahead and did two rows. What I like about doing two rows is, well, uh, the other days I've done it, I was doing it in the evenings after work, uh, whereas today's Saturday and I could put on two rows. I went ahead and put on more glue this time. So you see a little bit more glue pop, which is fine. Uh, since I'm stuck on it, I didn't care. If you're really concerned about glue pop, if you start to put it closer to the inside edge, you, uh, you won't have as much glue pop. And here's what I found out so far. Doing two rows is fine. Uh, obviously though when you're adding the second row, so we have two rows of glue drying. We have this row of glue drying and that row of glue driving, drying. So when you're putting on two rows at a time, obviously there's a little bit more wobble factor because you're putting uh, this, this top row of brick on top of this I guess block, row of block on top of this row of block and it's not totally set up so you do get a little bit more wobble. So in that regard I like doing one row per day so you get a clear glue setup between days um, and so when you do your next layer there's no wobble. But either way probably doesn't matter at the end. Uh, I've cheated a little bit. I did have a little bit of uh, an uneven brick here in this area. I cheated and I stuck a couple pennies under one side, put a little extra glue under there and uh, essentially shimmed it up so it's nice and smooth now. Uh, still overall, even though I have a foundation that dips and has peaks and valleys, I'm still fairly level. And like I said, I'm stuck on it so it doesn't matter if we're off a little bit. The other thing I've noticed through this process that's probably another reason why people use uh, mortar or cement or whatever it's called, concrete, between bricks, is that no two bricks are the same height and no two bricks are the same length. Uh, whereas with this glue process, uh, you, it would, you would prefer to have more consistency. As a result, I have one brick over here. It's slightly longer. It doesn't matter because it, it will get lost in the process once it's stuccoed over. Uh, the stucco finish will hide all that. So we're going to let this cure overnight. Uh, like I said, I'm no expert. I don't pretend to be. But it's coming out pretty good. Now, in comparison, here's a fence I didn't put up. That was put up by so-called experts. And uh, as you can see, it... Uh, Leaves a lot to be desired. So, uh, in any event, I think uh, I'm pretty proud with how things are going. I can haul about 30 bricks at a, or blocks at a time in my SUV. So, uh, basically, I want to do, you know, essentially two rows at a time as time permits. So, that's where we're at so far. 
Okay, so I am on the, I guess it's the fourth day? Anyway, uh, the two rows that I put on yesterday are on, and this is very, very firm. I could kick it all day long, and it's, it's there. I could probably hit it with a hammer. It would be uh, rigid, but obviously I'm not interested in beating up my wall. Uh, I have a few blocks left before I have to go back to Home Depot and get more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put those on. I'm going to go ahead and grind off a high spot I found with a grinder with a cup wheel, Harbor Freight grinder and Harbor Freight cup wheel. And uh, I'll knock that down and uh, then I'll put my remaining bricks on that uh, I still have or blocks on and uh, that'll probably be it for today so uh, that's that Okay, I finished grinding off a couple of the high spots. And that one, you can see all the aggregate there. And there, this is one the one I did the most to. So you can see the aggregate since I ground it down. And uh, did a little bit over here too. So I'm going to go ahead and dust those off because there's a lot of dust on them. And then I'll go ahead and glue on my next row and go from there. Okay, put on a few more bricks. Like I said, I didn't have enough to finish the wall. But uh, they went on nice and smooth. And even thanks to that uh, little bit of grinding I did, even went on a lot uh, flatter. Not that I was worried about it, since I'm stuckling it in the end. So tomorrow I'll get a few more blocks to do the remaining row. At this point, in case anyone's curious, I have used about one and a half bottles of Gorilla Glue so far. That's a $20 bottle at Home Depot, so I'm into it for about 30 bucks so far. So, uh, to me that's reasonable. Obviously it's not the cheapest glue out there, but it works great. And it's great on this, prop this project. And the fact that we're dealing with uh, blocks that have uh, a lot of texture to them, it uh, bonds to the block really great. And... Uh, I'd rather buy many bottles of Gorilla Glue at $20 each compared to hauling or 40 or 50 pound bottles of, uh, of uh, mortar mix any day. So uh, using Gorilla Glue is a lot easier than the headache of uh, doing it the other way and uh, I'm less likely to need back surgery after I use uh, grow glue in comparison to you know having a cement mixture and lifting that stuff around all day okay I have one row left to go and then I'm gonna do a top cap piece and then we'll stucco but uh, it's coming out awesome do have some seepage which I knew we would grind that off. I'll show you how I grind it off and uh, then we'll stucco and then we'll be done. Okay, <clears throat> I have one more block to put on the end and then I've done my last row. It will be complete. We're getting near the end. 
I'm going to go ahead and put uh, cap the top and I've laid these on. These aren't glued on yet. I've glued this whole row, this top row, this morning. So it's been, uh, I placed those blocks on about a half an hour ago. And uh, I have a pretty cool tool that I want to use to scrape the excess glue off. That's a scraper for like scraping a floor when you're pulling off carpet padding or tile, what have, have you. So I want to give that a try here shortly. So I want those last block on and start uh, the top row. And uh, then I'll do some scraping. Okay, so it's all capped up and uh, let it dry overnight and then uh, I'm ambitious tomorrow I will start to stucco. Um, let me just show you real quick what I'm going to do as far as scraping the excess glue off. my scraper to scrape off most of the excess glue and then uh, a couple places where there's still a little bit of res residue I'll just hit it with my uh, my uh, grinder with a little cup wheel on it since we're stuck on it um, it doesn't matter if I uh, sand it a little bit before I cover it with with stucco so that's where we're at looking pretty good I like the height and uh, obviously you guys can't tell or will be able to hear based on the, the sound quality on YouTube, but if I I took my hand and uh, did a dunk, you know, you know, I've 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 hit it down low and I've kicked it with my foot and it's got a nice real 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 nice real low sound, low uh, low tone thud. So it uh, it feels really really stable, really firm, really strong. So uh, that's it for now. And with luck, tomorrow we'll, we'll be doing some stucco texture. Well, I said I was going to do this tomorrow, but I have a little bit of ADD, so I went ahead and started it today. Uh, I went ahead and started uh, grinding some of my, my glue high spots with the uh, grinder with the cup gun. My cup wheel. Um, so anyway, let's see what they look like. 
So that's perfect, and then we'll just go over it with stucco, and go from there. That top line, I can't do until tomorrow, as far as grinding, because uh, it's been drying only for about an hour now. So, more progress tomorrow. Okay, I'm mixing up my, my stucco. And a nice little uh, mixer from uh, Harbor Freight, and just using a Homer bucket. So, gonna mix this up, and then I'm going to, to patch all my my big gaps a little bit. I have a couple of them here, uh, like right there, and I'm going to patch those, and I'm going to push extra material in there before I do a smooth side stucco finish. Okay, you can see I stuccoed about a third of the fence. And I'm not showing you me stuccoing because I'm not the best in the world and I don't want anyone else to pretend to do it my way. But it uh, looks pretty good. And, uh, I've gone through one 80 pound bag of stucco, so. I have to get another one from uh, Home Depot. Okay, well, I am done. I've completely stuccoed the wall and it's come out really good. I didn't stucco the back side because I didn't care. Like I talked about a, a bit ago, I, I uh, put a little bit of extra stucco in between the uh, bricks that had a little bit more gap. This is my first stucco project, so I'm sure it's not the best stucco job in the world, but it's not the worst either, and I like it, and I'm ecstatic with how it's come out. The Gorilla Glue has bonded everything perfect. I'm impressed how it's how solid it feels and uh, helps me uh, cover up an unsightly decaying wall and uh, I'm sure it will last for um, you know many many years so that's that thank you for watching I appreciate it and uh, you know, happy projects. Be safe. Be creative. Bye.